out-of-state bird deals. If you've wanted to do one or wanted to learn about one or just want to know what the hell a bird deal is, you're going to want to stay tuned. Carlo, this one's from you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Normally, I come to you guys from the Holton Wise TV studios. Uh, today, a little different, coming to you from the home office. Uh, just recently had another child, so spending some time at home. But with real estate, we don't necessarily need to always be physically on site. That's what's so great about this business, right? We're able to to work how we want, when we want, from where we want, right? And that's that's why you guys come to Holton Lies. That's why you guys get involved in the business, right? That's why my man Carlo came to me, right? Carlo, you're not here in Cleveland, dog. You're in Georgia. Uh, you're a seasoned investor, bro. You know how this game works, man. You've already, uh, you know, built up a portfolio in Little Rock, Arkansas, right? And now you're expanding to Cleveland, right? Moving that... Uh, moving that needle, man, doing the uh, financial freedom thing, right? So good job out of you for continuing to spread out your business and uh, acquire more assets. As I understand it, <clears throat> you're pretty familiar with the Burr strategy, and that's how you purchase some of your other properties, right? So good job out of you. Quickly, for everybody else, because uh, remember, I sent, I'm sending the show to you, Carlo, right now. It's private. Nobody else can see it. But a couple months after this, after this deal's already done, I do release it free on Holton Lies TV for everybody else to learn, right? So for everybody else that's out there watching Carlo's video, Carlo already knows this. Uh, he's He's been doing these deals, you know, in other states, right? So he he's hip to the game. But Burr, okay, that's uh, buy, renovate, rent refinance repeat that's the process where we buy a property that needs renovation so our acquisition cost and our renovation cost theoretically needs to come in lower than what the property is going to appraise for right so we buy it uh needs work right we're going to get a discount because not a lot of buyers are interested in it because it's all fucked up right then we're going to renovate it then we're going to put a tenant in it to get that cash flow then we're going to have the bank come in give us a loan Theoretically, we should get more money back than we would if we just went and purchased a property that did not need renovation, right? You might not get all your money back, but you are greatly going to increase your ROI, increase your cash on cash return, and stretch your funds further, right? Allowing you to use the same money to buy new rentals and new rentals and new rentals and new rentals. Get you to the point where you're completely financially free, right? If you're able to uh, you know, you could be able to work from home if you want. You could uh, live in Georgia, have properties in Cleveland and uh, Arkansas, right? That's that's the name of the game, right? So that's what we're doing, right? That's what me and you are doing, Carlo. And here's the property, man. 152 Oak Street, Elyria, 44035. Just hit the market, bro. $55,000, and this is the perfect type of property to target for a bird deal, right? Let's the by a company called Russell. And this is what they say. This three bedroom, one bath home could be something special with the right touches. The home boasts a large lot, some old charm features. The home is in need of updates and being sold as is. In addition to that, you can't see this. It's only uh, accessible to real estate brokers. But uh, <clears throat> what had happened is the information I got from uh, the listing agent through that process is uh, there was a tenant in here. Tenant just left. Uh, the owner's an out-of-state dude. He's not cleaning it, not doing, or he's not doing anything. He's gonna clean it. That's it. He's gonna have his property manager like trash it out. So we got like a, a booty rental property where the tenant just moved out. All the agent has done is provided us with one photo. Okay, nothing on the inside. Very limited amount of information, but that's good. That's why we want to target this, right? You have an out-of-state owner who's apparently done, disenfranchised uh, with the, rent, uh, the real estate business, the rental property business, doesn't want to deal with this, doesn't want to fix this property up, just wants out. That's good. That's going to help us beat down the price. Number two, this listing agent isn't giving people a bunch of information, right? They're just like one picture, not a lot of efforts being put into this, right? So these are why this is going to be such a, uh, a, a good opportunity for us because I think we could beat the price down because 
I wouldn't want you to pay 55 for this, bro. I want us to pick it up at 40. I want you to spend $40,000 acquiring it, and I'm going to plan to have you spend $25,000 fixing it up, meaning you'll be all into it for 65. What that would get you is a $1,000 a month Section 8 tenant. It's $12,000 a year coming in. This is just a nice, solid C-class neighborhood, dude. And in C-class neighborhoods, I prefer Section 8 tenants to cash paying tenants. Now, we could go cash paying tenant, but I like to have the broadest audience possible buying my product, right? So you don't want to eliminate all the Section 8 folks. Plus, I just love, love the consistency of the Section 8 program, dude. It's government guaranteed rent. The biggest pain in the ass in this business, of course, is dealing with asshole tenants that don't pay their rent, right? You guys have seen the tenants from hell show <laughs> you got a victim and that whole why is we a victim we do it live on camera so if y'all want to see some live evictions check that out but that's the biggest pain in the ass right but we very very infrequently have to evict section 8 tenants right because the government's taking care of that rent right so thousand bones comes in an average of 509 is going to go out right leaving you carlo with an average NOI of $491 a month or $5,892 a year. Now, after we spent all that money, we got that, right? That thousand bucks. 65,000 is what we're all into it. I believe we'll be able to get the property to appraise for 75,000. So if it appraises for 75,000, the bank's going to loan us 56,250, meaning the only amount of cash Carlos got stuck in this deal long term is 8,750. That's a 32.5% return on your investment, brother. That is a motherfucking home run, okay? And then we'll just move on and do another, do another, do another. Now, obviously we got <laughs> I should probably give you a little more detail on that 25 Gs, right? Like what the hell? 25 Gs on what, okay? Here's what we're working with, right? <clears throat> we are working with some unknowns right now because the agent hasn't gone in and given us very much information. But that's good. I think that's good because that, again, is going to help us try to pick this up for $40,000. I think the lack of information is going to hurt them uh, because a bunch of other buyers will be scared of that or you know just not want to deal with it, right? I've been doing this business a very long time, right? Based on what the agent said, house is being sold as is, needs updates. Look, I'm thinking 20 Gs, right? There's... You're going to just factor in we're doing it all, right? The, you know, if there turns out to be updated fixtures in the kitchen or the bath, consider that a bonus. But based on what she said, the fact they're not taking pictures of it, I see no reason to assume that, right? So odds are good you're doing it all, right? So cosmetically, we've renovated hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes like this, dude. We, for about $20,000, can go in, refinish hardwoods, patch holes, paint, agreeable paint throughout the whole home, white trim throughout the whole home, uh, refinished hardwoods throughout the whole, the whole home. These old homes all have hardwood flooring in them. You just, we buff them and then we put a very dark stain sometimes. If there's like a lot of scratches, that'll really cover that up, dark stain, and then a bunch of very thick epoxy on top of it so your, your future turnovers are cheaper, right? The animal pee and drinks and things of that nature can't seep into the wood and cause the house to smell, and we're not replacing carpet every few tenants, right? So neutral paint throughout the whole thing, any holes in the walls, patched up, uh, flooring taken care of, kitchen upgraded, right? We're going to put in Lowe's or Home Depot quality, countertops, cabinetry. In the bathroom, new fixtures, nice little modern fixture, right? You got your tub, we'll probably reglaze the tub shower. Uh, we'll put a new vanity, new toilet, new vinyl flooring in there, which will match into the kitchen. And then the rest of the home will be the hardwood I'm talking about, right? We, we can knock that out for about $20,000. Now, I also factored in another $5,000. You got some big ticket items that are important when you're renovating homes. You got a roof, house like this, probably like a $6,000 roof. You got a furnace, those are $3,000. You got a hot water tank, that's $1,000, right? So 6000 plus 4000 that's $10,000. Do we know if we need to spend all 10 right now? No, we do not. Theoretically, all of those items actually are in working order because we just had a tenant in there. So I would assume they're all in working order, but I would not assume that any of them are new or at least that all of them are not new. I would assume they're mid to end of life. So we're going in assuming we're going to do a full $20,000 cosmetic renovation and then spend approximately $5,000 on some of those three items. Now, when we make this offer, of course, this is just the first step of the due diligence, though. We're going to make this offer contingent on your third-party home inspection. And if we get in there 
and we realize, oh man, based upon new evidence, right? New evidence, we can't put this home together for 25K. Then we need to renegotiate, right? At that point, I can go back to the seller like, hey, you know, we need another 5K off to make this deal work. You want to do that? Maybe we meet in the middle or, you know, it's possible we may have to move on from the deal, right? The home inspector could go in there and it turns out there's a major structural issue. I'll tell you right now, if we have a structural issue with this home, the numbers don't make sense. There ain't no way we could put it together, uh, you know, for anywhere near 25K, right? We might have to spend 40K on, this, uh, on the foundation, right? You wouldn't want to deal with that, right? At that point, we would move on to another deal. So that's where we're at right now, though, right? That we're going to take that lack of information, try to beat the crap out of the seller, get the thing down at 40. And then from there, after we get our people in there, maybe we'll have to beat them down even more. Maybe we won't. Maybe the deal works. But if we can be all into this thing for 65K, dude, you're, you're making good money. That's, that's a perfect burr, right? These are the types of properties we need to target when we do burrs, guys. I know a lot of people out there, you know, they're wanting everything nice and neat and available for them in this easy bow and they want as much information as they can right off the rip guys the burr strategy is all about buying distressed properties from distressed sellers dude you're buying problems you're buying issues you're buying from people uh that just don't want to deal with it so you're not going to find everything like ready to rock in a nice easy to understand bow for you right that's what you hire me for to come in and and shoot you straight and let you know you know what i think's happening and i could kind of read between the lines right because you know for this strategy to make sense going forward, that's who we have to target, right? You're not going to like buy bird deals from professional sellers that know exactly what they're doing, or you're not going to be able to do a bird deal on a fully performing rental property, right? The whole thing is buying properties that are not being properly positioned, right? And you're, you're sliding in there, taking, taking advantage of that, adding some value. That's how the whole thing works, right? So Carlo, if all that makes sense, you want to move forward, make the offer, uh, reply to this private email, Everybody else, you want to work with me in the same way I'm working with Carlo, hop on over to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, order a package of the MLS search analysis shows for yourself. Or if you want, shoot my team an email with your phone number, sales at HoltonWise.com. We'll get in contact with you. We could talk to you about that and everything else we got. We got facts online about our property management construction services because we could handle this whole process for you. But, uh, you know, if you want to talk to a live person, you don't want to go through the fact. That's totally fine too. Just shoot us your information. We'll even get you our list of lenders, folks. I told Carlo we'd get them a loan for $56,250. So he only has to keep $8,000 or so into this deal. If you guys are out there and you want our lenders, man, sales at holdenwise.com, shoot us that. We'll get you our list of lenders. These are lenders that are writing 30-year fixed interest, low interest loans to investors living in all 50 states. And they don't even have to be properties we're selling, man. You could be watching my show right now and you're trying to do a bird deal in Detroit, Michigan. Great. You need a lender? We'll hook you up, man. We have lenders that work with investors like you. So we are here to help you guys become the most educated and well-prepared real estate investors you can possibly be. That's all I've got for today's show. If you're still with me, thank you for sticking around. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you do me one more favor and pop that like button, uh, give the video a little engagement so the algorithm shoots it out to other investors, right? It lets them know that this content has been helpful. That's all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.